Hey guys, it's Mr. again for another video today, and we are back with our Houston Vikings franchise mode. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna look to sim probably the entire season this episode. Uh, so far we're looking pretty decent. In our first 10 games we went 7-2-1, and one, so that's pretty damn good. Uh, <clears throat> already played two less games than St. Louis, so that's why they are ahead of us, because they have one extra point. But that's okay, my controller batteries are low. They have been for like a few hours now, and they still just aren't dead. So I'm just continuing to use these these ones, but whatever, it's okay. So the team looking pretty good, and I just want to point something out. Owen Tippett currently with seven goals on this rate. In the next like 25 games, he could have a 30 goal season already. So on this rate, he, 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 he there's a chance. There's a chance. I'm not saying he can get it, but there is a chance that he will actually get the um, um, the Maurice the Rocket Richard. But then again, there's point per game <laughs> goal scorer Vladdy T. Eichel and Ehlers are there as well. So you never know. Anything could happen. But uh, hopefully Tippett can make something happen. Hey Tarasenko, buddy, stop scoring for me. Jesus, that's a wicked shot. Oh my god. I mean, Tippett's is okay, but it's really not as good as Vladdy T's. He's got good passing and puck control, too. He's got very good stats, man. Uh, honestly, his defense should be higher than that, too. Uh, yeah, his, his, his defensive rating should probably be higher than that, to be honest. Um... Very interesting, though. He is a very, very good player, of course. But, uh, yeah. So, let's uh, let's get into the sim. We'll see how we do. The team is looking pretty decent. Uh, very happy with what the team looks like. I just want to show you guys the lineup real quick, just so you all remember. Let's see. Uh, it's it's pretty decent so far. So, Konechny, obviously the new addition. Proving to be like he could be the right pickup for the team. Only has seven points, but that's okay. Um, well, I say only. It's, we've played ten games. That's actually pretty decent. Balser's obviously 11 points, though. Very, very good. And like I said, Tippett, only with seven goals. I would like for him to get more because he does have 94 passing. But uh, still, uh, if he goes on a 30-40 goal season, then can you really complain? So let's go. Let's uh, let's sim. We will see how we do. We are currently third in our division. And hopefully we can move on to be a pretty great team this year. Uh, I'd say like top seven, top five teams is probably where we could finish, uh, depending on how well the season starts. And not, so far the episode hasn't started well with a loss to Pittsburgh. That's okay. We'll bounce back against Florida. There we go. They were they had a poor record, <clears throat> so you know. Um, so guys, I'm gonna talk to you about something. Uh, there's this new video idea I have. So I have a a whiteboard, and I also made my own magnets with all the NHL logos for each and every team, including Vegas. Uh, so I want to make other videos on the channel. Uh, where and um. Yeah, like you'd also, there'd be, you'd actually be able to see what I look like because maybe a lot of, I'm sure a lot of you don't actually know what I look like because I used to upload vlogs on this channel uh, and then I stopped really doing that. So I moved on to making NHL videos and then I just, I privated all my other videos that aren't on NHL. So now obviously we're making NHL videos, but also they're still going to be about hockey. Uh, it's just other things. Um, I don't know. I just I think it would be cool. I think it would be interesting. I think uh, you guys might be interested in it. Um, yeah, so some video ideas I have uh, currently are like players that are likely to bounce back going into this 2017-2018 season. Uh, a playoff prediction, like an early preseason playoff prediction, uh, what, what I could expect the brackets to be like as well. I could do all of that. Um, also teams to look out for like new teams that look to be very good this season that weren't so good uh, last season like just as an example Dallas uh, maybe with the addition of Bishop and Radulov and Hansel and Mathot they look to be like a pretty decent team they could definitely go on a run 
and like obviously also Tampa Bay if they really can uh, keep Stamkos healthy they'll obviously go all, they could go a very far away uh, very interesting to see like that uh, players to look out for like players that had um, pretty good seasons last year they look like they could even get better uh, such as I don't know uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, I, like this year I would look out for Jamie Ben and T Tyler Sagan because last year they didn't have the greatest seasons but uh, they could definitely have like a bounce back season as well it's basically the same thing to be honest uh, I might have to change that up uh, also another thing I wanted to do is favorite players I think that would be very cool if uh, if you guys actually knew who all of my favorite players were. Uh, if you watch my fantasy draft franchise mode, you'll probably know who my top two favorite players are, which is uh, Dreisaitl and Kucherov. So if you knew that, then good job. Thank you for listening and watching the videos. It means a lot. And then also uh, another thing we could do is favorite teams. Maybe I split it up in by like the divisions. Uh, or not divisions, but by the conference or something. I don't know. I think it would be cool, though. Lots and lots of video ideas out there that I could do. Um, we'll just have to wait to see how everything looks. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited to... I, I'm more than likely going to get that started soon. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. I might make my own separate video on it, just talking about it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how... Uh, how you guys respond. If you guys are watching this, please let me know in the comments what you would think of that. So you'd see me, you'd see a whiteboard, um, and then I'd be making my own videos. I think they would do good. I think they're very cool. I think it's something unique, also different for my channel, since all I have done is uh, NHL 17 videos. Obviously, I'm still going to continue uh, franchise mode and uh, other French franchise modes in uh, NHL 18. So I'm very excited for that as well. I will be getting that hopefully soon. Actually, I still don't have it pre-ordered, so hopefully I will get that soon. And then also um, do those other types of videos on the whiteboard. I think, I just really think that would be cool. Uh, like I said, though, let me know what you guys think about that just out of curiosity. I think it would be very interesting. And uh, you never know, maybe you guys would really be interested in that. So... I'd, be, I'd like to know. The <laughs> main thing is that you guys should tell me in the comments what you think about that, and then uh, we can talk about that as well if you want. So thank you all for listening, and uh, yeah. Now we can hop back into the NHL 17 talk. Uh, so far we were doing pretty good. I think the record was like, what, 23 or 27, 20, or 27, 13 and something? Five, three, I don't actually know. One second. Um 25, 13, and 5, yeah, so we're doing pretty decent. I am stopping the sim at the All-Star break just to see how the team's doing. AHL team isn't doing great, unfortunately, but it's okay. Um, I mean, eh, it's the AHL team. As long as we have uh, some players to grow, then we should be fine. But uh, looking pretty decent so far still. We are on quite a run. We have been on quite a point streak as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Currently on a 10-game point streak. Can we continue it against a good Washington team? We can. So we are actually on a 11-game point streak going into the All-Star break. So that is very good. Uh, you got to expect that we have a pretty decent record or a pretty decent spot right now. And we are first in our division. Awesome. Goaltending rating has gone up as well. I am going to check the stats really quickly and see if anybody on the team did make the all-star break. Travis Konechny got up to an 87, so he's looking pretty good. He's doing very well as well. Balser's up to an 85. Tippett still a 95. Uh, I think Hosang got back up to an 85. Spot check could be like an 84. He's not doing great either. How's Kovacs doing? Not too bad. Hosang, 12 and 18. How about Tuck? 7-9, Harkins, not too bad. Is anybody actually complaining about ice time? Um, okay, so Poirier's good, Durando's good, Jeremy Bracco still, man. Oh, so, so is Dawson Holt. E, they both want more ice time. And uh, I think we'll just switch them, to be honest. We'll try, uh, we'll try something else. So Tuck had 
uh, eight or sorry, sixteen points with Harkins is fifteen and Poirier's nineteen, so that's pretty good. Bracco, oh damn, Bracco and Holt had a lot of points as well. Durando, maybe I don't want to switch change the, those lines to be honest. They're doing really well, so I think we'll just promote the third line or the fourth line to the third line and demote the third line to the fourth line, just to try and see how things work. Hopefully they're okay with that. Defense, Hag and Hamilton, both great. Rossmus Dolan has not grown at all. He has four goals. Riley, Lauzon, Anderson. Is Anderson complaining about ice time? No. All right. Um, goalies. Kakinen's up to an 87. Awesome. Very good. How's his stats? 919 and a 240. So that's pretty good. He has played every game of the season, obviously. Oh, God. Um, Soros, buddy. What the hell happened? Okay, wait. When did we lose a game where there was nine goals let in? What? I need to go check this. Okay. What? Um. Uh, I'm very confused. 7-2 loss? Maybe it was that one? That is quite a big loss. Uh, I don't see anything else. That is very big. It must have been that 7-2 loss. Or he must have just... Well, no, he's only played one game. So he must have just really friggin' sucked. Uh, after being pulled, after Kakinen got pulled, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> All right, so let's go see uh, the point leaders and see what what everyone's looking like. Rudolph Balser's with 41. So far, 49 games, not too bad. Uh, Tippett is at 22 goals though, so he's doing pretty good. This is definitely not going to be enough for uh, the um, Rocket Richard, but that's okay. If Hamilton can get into that, uh, um, into that uh, Norris race, and that'll be very cool. So, Kovacs and Ho Sang are playing second line. Where's Spotcheck? Spotcheck's down here. He's usually at the top of the team, though he was playing first line last year. He's a minus twelve right now, which could be a big reason. Ho Sang and Kovacs. So that entire line is a minus, uh, pretty deep into the minuses. Uh, especially spot check though. Huh, maybe I should try and switch that second line up. Um, hmm, maybe I should look to change that because those aren't great stats. Those are very poor plus minuses. Um, you know what, Bracco, just since you're mad about the ice time, you're, you're getting promoted, buddy. Second line ice time for you. Um, I, I, I don't want to give up this, that line. So, you know what? They're getting promoted to the second line. Fourth line is getting promoted to the second line. And we'll try it. Hopefully that third line does a little bit better than, uh, plus minus wise. Hopefully it improves a bit. They were six, minus six, minus nine, and minus 12. So hopefully, all right, real quick. I do want to go see if, uh, anybody, uh, did make the all-star game, uh, or the all-star, uh, break. I'm assuming... At least um, Tippett did, but maybe not. So Tarasenko, Eichel, Stamkos, McDavid, Kane, Liljegren, Ristolainen, Doughty, Bigris, uh, Kopitar, Riley, Galchenyuk, Carlson, uh, Chuck, yep, Kuznetsov, Barkov, uh, Pollen, uh, Crosby, Petrangelo, Klingberg, uh, Doogie Hamilton, Heap, uh, Brody, uh, Giroux, and Forsberg. Unfortunately, it doesn't show everyone, but I I would assume Tippett would make it as well. He's doing pretty good. Honestly, you would think, like, it doesn't even mean highest overall. You would think uh, Balsers would make it as well because he's doing very good. Uh, out, of, out of curiosity, though, I actually do want to go check the stats for players. <clears throat> Just to see what uh, what the entire league's looking like. Tarasenko has 42 goals. Jesus, Eichel with 38. Ovechkin with 26. So, tip it unless you unless you really want to start scoring uh, a hat trick a game. You definitely aren't gonna get that. Even then, I don't know if you could actually catch up to Tarasenko with how great he is doing for goals. It's almost a point per game player on goals alone, which is freaking ridiculous. 42 goals is. <laughs> like 
we've played like a, a few games over half the season, ten games more than half, or no, eleven games more than half the season, and he has forty two goals, uh, which is freaking crazy. Let's go check defensemen uh, to see where Hamilton is. Hamilton is just outside the Norris race right now. Um, maybe he could catch up. I think that'd be very cool. If Ekman Larson didn't score goals so much, uh, he probably would be in there. So, you know, Morgan Riley also scoring goals. Uh, hopefully, you know what, hopefully he can get in there. Anything can happen. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Doing pretty good though, so it's okay. Let's uh, let's go. I am surprised with Tarasenko doing so well. You would think the Blues would be higher uh, in their division. Only fifty. Well, I say only fifty-eight points. That's still very good. But to be honest, I would expect to see more out of that team. So we'll move on to the deadline and we'll see how we continue on. Can we continue our point streak? Uh, we can. Now on a twelve-game point streak. Now against Calgary. Ah, uh, come on, please. Okay, another point. No matter what, we would have gotten a point in that game. So very good. That's a 13-game point streak. That, that's really damn good. Oh, and Boston ends the 13-game point streak. That's our first regulation loss in like a month. So that's very good. As long as we get those points, that's a very good team. They don't surrender a lot of points. Uh um, or they don't surrender too many points uh, playing uh, during the regular season, so that's very good. Uh, and we are still simming very well, getting lots of Ws and lots of points as well. So I'm very pleased with how well this team really is. Uh, to be honest, it is quite a good team, even though on paper, overall-wise, they aren't the greatest team, like really. There's two, maybe three, really, th two, two. Nah, I'd say one really high overall player. Then there's a few mediums like Konechny, Hamilton, and Hag. They're all around medium. Well, Konechny's definitely a medium. Um, Hamilton and Hag maybe medium to high uh, overalls. But uh, still, it's quite crazy with how well this team is uh, is simming. So, you know, I'm very happy with that. That's for sure. Uh, Iowa Wild are starting to pick it up a little bit as well. There are a few few games positive. Another scouting assignment right before the deadline. Um, and then we are done for, uh, well, for making it to the deadline. So, trade, you know what, it's, let's see, what is our trade block looking like? Yeah, I believe I didn't have anything on here. I don't think there's anything I actually want to give up, to be honest, either. So, hype, very good. 4-1 uh, victory going into the, going into the deadline. So, I definitely don't want to make a trade. This team is too good to change right now. 41, 16, and 6. We've almost started running away with the division as well, which is also very good. Uh, just out of curiosity, though, let's see how everyone's doing. Durando growing very well. Oh, yeah, I want to check their points. Uh, still doing good together. Yep. Uh, Kovacs really picked it up as well. Spot check. Started doing better on the third line. Hosang, all right. Uh, Tuck, Harkins, Poirier. They definitely are fourth line material point-wise. Like, they aren't the greatest. Are they upset about ice? <laughs> hey. Yeah, see, anybody I play on the fourth line is going to be upset about ice time. Which, I don't know if I, I really need to try and change that. Let's go check special teams. We'll see... Penalty kill, uh, Poirier, tip it. You know what, tip it, buddy. You can get off the penalty kill. Uh, let's put on... Uh, is Jeremy Bracco still complaining about ice time? He's not complaining about ice time, but he's also not, like, happy about it. So put Bracco there, and then instead of tip it, we'll put Harkins here. And then also instead of Poirier, we'll put Hamilton... Or not Hamilton, um... <laughs> Holt, sorry. He's a right wing. Okay, uh, we'll put Holt. No, not Holt. Put Tuck. Wait, what are Tuck's defensive stats? All right, they aren't terrible. Um, hopefully that all works out then. We'll see. Uh, yeah, hopefully that works out. I think that should be good now. 
did need to make some changes. And if that really proves to be bad, I'm going to put the changes back. Or I'll change them back. Uh, actually, I do want to only sim simulate three games just to see if those changes actually do really make a difference. Um, well, we won our first game with the changes, so, so far looking good. Uh, loss, scouting assignment, man, trying to figure something out here. All right, um, Vancouver, I lost as well, so I still don't know. Is it really reflecting, or is it actually just... We just had two bad games. Uh, L.A., we did beat uh, the Oilers and shut them out. L.A., we lost to St. Louis. Uh, okay, we also lost to... You know what? I'm really not liking those line changes. I don't know. To be honest, I think I might put them back to the way they were because we were simming better. And like I said, I was pretty happy with how we were playing. And I'm like, we kind of have ran away with the division. And then we actually kind of haven't anymore. So Bracco will be switched for Tippett. And to be honest, I really like Tippett on the penalty kill because he has very good uh, d defensive stats. So it's hard to honestly put him in. Uh, put him in uh, anything else. So we'll put Poirier on the first one. And then we'll put Tippett on the second pair. Or on the second one, sorry. Uh, Alright, so I believe that is it. Hopefully the team continues to sim well. I would still like to win the division if we can. We're currently at 92 points in 69 games, so that's pretty damn good. Um, let's just sim to the 1st of April. Uh, is that April? Yeah. No, May? I don't know. No, April. Yeah, it's April. Okay. Sorry, I had to think about that one for a sec. All right, um, where else to scout? Defenseman for two weeks in the U.S. Shootout win, shootout loss, shootout loss. All right, interesting. We're still getting points. Another regulation win. All right, good. Uh, now against L.A., who just hit 40 wins. Uh, shootout win, all right. 4-1 uh, win, 3-2 win. All right, so these, line, these lines just get it done, apparently. 3-2 uh, loss, unfortunately, but that's okay. Now, I don't. I never saw the notification, but you got to think we've clinched by now, right? you got to think. Yeah, okay, we have 104 points. Very good. Uh, now against Dallas. And to be honest, if we really want to ensure the division, this could be a big win. If we do beat Dallas, so let's see if we can beat Dallas. We get a back-to-back -back from da Dallas to Nashville as well. All right, Dallas, we do beat them. Have we clinched the division or the conference? No, we have not. Nashville, Smashville, uh, at its scouting assignment, God. Uh, there's actually a few goalies here, so I think I might go two weeks. So there's actually a decent amount of goalies there. Another win, finishing first in the conference. There it is. Hype. That's all I needed to see, to be honest. That's all I wanted to see. 50 wins as well. We could finish with a max 52 wins. 51. St. Louis in the last game of the season. Let's see. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Lost. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal, though. That's okay. 80, uh, 85 locker room chemistry, 110 points. Clinching the conference is very good. And the NHL regular season has ended. Who will we face first? It should be the Blackhawks. It will be the Blackhawks. All right. Interesting. 43, 31, and 8 for them. So uh, they did pretty good. Now, let's uh, let's go check some stats before I end this episode, and it's already been 24 and a half minutes. Travis Konechny, with 70 points, uh, finished off the most as in the season. Surprisingly, Falser started to kind of slow down. Tippett did hit the 30-goal season, though, so that's good. Um, yeah, you would kind of think he would get more points than that, though, looking at some of his stats, but it's okay. Uh, maybe if I didn't have him on the penalty kill. 
He's a plus 11, though, playing penalty kill and power play, so he's doing really good. Uh, I feel like I really should check the penalty kill stats, so uh, we'll see how well we did. So sort of by forwards. Uh, Konechny with 70, Belsters with 69, 58 for Kovacs, 56 for Tippett, 42 for Hosang, 41 for Spacek, 44 Durando, 36 for Bracco, 35 for Holt, 30 for Poirier, 23 for Tuck, and 21 for Harkins. All right. Uh, defenseman, 64 for Hamilton, 22 for Anderson, 17 for Hag and Lausanne, 16 for Riley, and 8 for Dolan. Still only an 83. Um, he's very happy, but uh, just has not grown, unfortunately. Goalies, let's see. Kaknin with uh, a 231, which is pretty good, and a 923, which is pretty good. Saros did not have the best year, though, for the three games he did get put in. The offense just must have been hot, though. Durando with 40 points as a rookie. That's pretty good. Uh, Dallin for nine as a defense, or eight for de as a defensive defenseman. That's okay as well. So let's go check forwards in the entire league. I'm assuming a forward will win the, uh, the Art Ross. Just to check. Yeah, all right. So... <laughs> Uh, Vladimir Tarasenko with 96 points, almost had a 60 goal season. 60 goal seat, 60 goals. What? 58 goals, man. Jesus. It has to be the Rocket winner. Yeah, Eichel and Ovechkin up there. 46 for Ovi at 37 years old, man. Uh, if he doesn't retire this year, I'd be quite shocked, though, to be honest. Uh, Jack Eichel with 41. Nolan Patrick with 41. Very interesting. Tavares with 40. Sega and Ben tied at 38. Uh, just out of curiosity, most assists as a forward. Marner probably playing with, uh, um, with, um, freaking thing. Uh, f fuck. Nolan, yeah, Nolan Patrick. Uh, very interesting. How about points? It was uh, Tarasenko. Yeah, it was. All right. So I'm assuming Tarasenko also had the best plus minus, but no. Brian Little and Robbie Fabry huh, probably playing with Tarasenko. Yeah, they definitely were playing with Tarasenko. Also had uh, very good plus minuses, surprisingly. Very interesting. Cam Atkinson had a high one, though, too, playing with Ben and Sagan, I would, I would assume. Now let's go check defensemen. To see who won uh, the Norris, uh, Timothy Liljegren, uh, a point per game player at 82 points is very, very good. He has 99 passing. He has 72 assists. Um, very interesting. Carlson and Morgan Riley. Uh, yeah, they look to be like the two most goal scorers or the two highest goal scorers for defense. Uh, very interesting. Doogie Hamilton, not too far behind. Could have been tied for uh, third, really, if he had gotten one more point. So he did pretty well. Uh, just out of curiosity, plus minus for defensemen, 33 for Brody, 33 for Riley. Uh, Fowler and Brody are probably playing together, which is a very good pairing. Nicholas Hag was up there, though, too, in 26. That's good. Connor Carrick was up there. Uh... Dylan Hetherington, and Hamilton was up there. Carlson, all right. Pretty interesting. So now let's go check uh, goalies to see um, who had the best season to win the Vesna. Um, all right, let's see. Wow, Montalbo had a .88 uh, playing in four games. Inter interesting, interesting. Uh, Cam Talbot, John Gibson, and Evan Fitzpatrick, by the looks of it, will have... The best, um, uh, or will be in the Vesna contention. Probably Talbot takes it. 207 is very, very good. Um, yeah, I definitely got to say Talbot for that one. That is very, very good stats. That is actually crazy. Uh, can I see the Jennings? Uh, who will win the Jennings? If I can guess. Uh, 25 or ish games. I mean, really, it could also. I honestly, I'd I'd be shocked. Talbot could take home both. 
Uh, maybe Fitzpatrick takes home the uh, the other one. <sighs> uh, I don't know. That's, those are some crazy stats, though. So. Um, very interesting. Let's go check rookie skaters to see who wins the Calder this year. I wonder how close Dawson Holt will be. Oh, I just sorted it by penalty minutes by accident. Who had the most points? Uh, Cade Von Eager. Yeah, I heard, yeah, I've, yeah, this guy went first overall by the Rangers. Uh, I think that was last year. Was that two years ago? I think that was last year. Chubarov uh, up there as well with Sam Perez. Um, but both of them didn't have near as good seasons as Eager did. Eager, Eager had a 30-goal uh, season in his rookie year, so he did very good. Um, huh. Interesting. Where is um, um, the man? Not Holt. I meant Durando. Yeah, okay, he's right there. I was so confused. Uh, yeah, Durando. So he did pretty decent. Rookie goalies. Will there, some, will there be someone to take it from? Cademon? I highly doubt it. Uh, but you never know. Uh, maybe Spike Graves. Uh, he's actually pretty good. 220 GAA and a 920 save percentage. That's actually pretty good. That could have been Vesna contention. Rookie season, that's actually really good stats. So uh, maybe. Maybe. Dimitri Kos could be up there. He only played 23 games, though, so maybe not. Very interesting looking at, at some of the stats, though. So, yeah, guys, that is going to be the video from me today. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and look out for the next one where we will face the Chicago Blackhawks in the first round of the playoffs. I will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.